Now the fifth leg of the World Volvo Ocean Race is now underway after a delay of three days to escape the powerful winds of Cyclone Pam. The nine-month global race was scheduled to leave New Zealand uh, for Brazil on Sunday. At present, the Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing Team leads the way, followed by China's uh, Dongfeng Race Team. The Dongfeng team led for most of the four leg, or rather most of leg four. Here's VOS Caroline Turner with leg four highlights. The Dongfen race team has dominated the Volvo Ocean race since they entered their home waters in Sanya, China. They became the first Chinese team ever to win a leg in the Volvo Ocean race history while also taking the overall lead. What we have trained last year, we did already the half of his leg. So they know what, what they are going to fight against and uh, we are ready for that. For sure, we, uh, the China Sea is famous to be a very bad sea state and uh, the main goal is not to break the boat during these first three days. The race is all female team SCA say they are up to the challenge. Um, well, this leg is going to be a little bit tougher start, I think, for everybody because we're starting here in Sanya and then going straight out into some quite strong headwinds. On February 8th, after an in-port race to entertain the crowds, the fleet departed Sanya and raced out to sea to begin Lake 4 to New Zealand, just over 5,200 nautical miles, and is among the toughest sea conditions the fleet will encounter. Huge waves and furious winds in excess of 25 knots battered and bruised the fleet as it sailed upwind through the South China Sea towards the Pacific Ocean. There's lots of water on the deck. You can see everything is moving. Difficult to sleep. The Dong Feng team lost their lead when repairs were required to fix its mast track, which had broken free from the mainsail. We broke uh, the G1 uh, locking system, and one of the parts of the locking system of the G1 Alliard. And uh, it seems that the G1 Alliard is inside the mast, so we cannot get uh, the Alliard back uh, to use it. They made temporary fixes. Come on! but will need to reach lighter winds to make permanent repairs. The fleet separated as Team SCA and Team Brunel pushed north to catch more wind. They chose a fast lane route that requires they sail 300 nautical miles longer than their rivals. Team Alva Medica says they paid a price for sticking with the pack. Now uh, is where you start to see the reward for the northerly option. Brunel's already well ahead of us and uh, probably ahead of Abu Dhabi, and SCA is about four miles ahead of us. Team Brunel in Abu Dhabi maintained the lead. Well, we're just sort of hooked into the trades now, so we're northeasterly winds. Um, we're leading the pack, and then the breakaway two in the north, uh, Brunel and uh, SCA, basically now have got the hammer down, and they're going to start to use their leverage to, to get over the top of us. With still a long way to go on the treacherous race, things change daily. Spanish entry Mapri won a tight duel with Abu Dhabi to capture the fourth leg of the race into Auckland, New Zealand. Leg five around the Cape Horn is set for March 15th. Carolyn Turner, VOA News. Well, as we mentioned at the top of the piece, Cyclone Pam delayed the start of leg five, which is now underway on Wednesday. And that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. For more news, tune in to VOA's evening radio show, African News Tonight, at 1800 UTC. And in the mornings to daybreak Africa between 0300 and 0600 UTC, Monday through Friday. Thanks a lot for watching from all of us here in Washington. Have a good night.